Hey everybody, we're going to look at the Horseshoe Indianapolis' late pick four on Wednesday the 31st. This is our pick four preview. My name's Dave, I'm the creator of Thorostat. We're going to dive right in though. We're going to look at uh, races six through nine. And here at Horseshoe, uh, the the last part of the card has some quarter horse races. So this is the race nine isn't the last race, it's a race after that. So you're just going to be mindful of that. Uh, and for those who have not played a pick four or don't play it frequently, it's a 50 cent base wager. So if you played one horse in all of these races, it would cost you 50 cents. Uh, we're playing an $84 ticket. The only reason we're playing something that high is I really like the first leg here. I think there's a single and then everything else is kind of where the value is going to be. So if we can get past race one, we're, there's a lot of value here. Uh, to be had, especially on the two middle races, the sandwich races, leg two and three, which is races seven and eight. They're both on the turf, and they're uh, highly, highly formful. In each of those races, though, if you watch our, our full card selections, we only really took uh, four horses in race seven as our top four, three horses in race eight uh, as our top three. Uh, but I'm going pretty deep here because I want to try to Add some value. I don't want to get beat by a horse that we were kind of waffling on the fence about. So we're going to dive right in. This is an $84 ticket. How we get that is uh, we've got one horse in race six, leg one. We've got eight horses in race seven in a 12-horse field. We've got seven horses in race eight, and we've got three horses in uh, race nine, which is leg four. So it's going to be one times eight times seven times three. Uh, times 0. 0.5 for 50 cents gives you an $84 ticket. Diving right in though, uh, race six is a state bred maiden special race. Uh, six furlongs in race six to start the the late pick four. Uh, girls are tougher out of Sky Lord. It's going to be super tough to beat. Um, third off of a layoff, ran in a stakes race, dropping in class to break its maiden. So I don't see how any horse is beating this horse in uh, this field. It's our top selection from our main picks. Uh, I'm not going to waste much time on there. We're singling the one. We're going all in on this one. Want to pick up the pieces there and then move into the last uh, section of the card here. Our top selection, so we're moving into the turf race, uh, race seven, mile and a 16th allowance race at Horseshoe Indy on Wednesday. Race seven is a 12 horse race. We've got eight horses here. Uh, the horses we don't have are going to be the 11, the 1, the 3, and the 8. Uh, we've got pretty much everyone else here, though. Uh, the horses that are going to be, that is our top pick, is Helen's Well. Uh, while I like her, I think she's beatable, uh, but she's our top selection from the from the rest of the card. Goodbye, Kyle, is a, a long shot that I like to round out our top four. The 12, the 7... Uh, Jenny Lind is our, in our top four that we gave out, and Habuya is also in our top four. We had two, 12, 7, and 5 in this race, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12 uh, for eight horses in this race. There's tons of value, uh, a lot of double-digit horses that I think are, are going to hit the board. If, if the favorite wins uh, or... Eventually, the eventual favorite is going to be Helen's Well, our top selection. Great. If any of these horses scratch out, which is something I didn't cover in this ticket so far, say the 12, we have the 12, the 12 scratches go by Kyle. We'll just get the post-time favorite. So say three of these horses scratch, we'll get the post-time favorite three more times. So if it's the two, we'll get the two four times. Not a bad, not a bad uh, trade-off, but I think there are some horses that will be running late on this turf that can run down the two but if not we've got the two uh morning line four to one and the odds you may get better odds too in this sequence just because there's so many horses in that field looking at race eight we've got seven horses here our top selection for us uh, we've got seven eleven and four uh, as our top selections from the full card analysis the seven uh i think we'll sit off of the the pace a bit morning line favorite again is the seven Jack Summer, which will be our top selection from our full analysis. The 11 Pantalones on in Fuego uh, will be running late. And the four Band of Roses is the front end rabbit. We'll hold on uh, morning line 15 to one. We're going to take seven horses in this 11 horse field. And we're going to be going with the one 
out of promises, the two, she's a clever justice, the four, band of roses, the seven, Jack Summer, who's our post time favorite, or our morning line favorite, the nine, Bickermans, the ten, American Anna out of Fast Anna, and the eleven, Pantalones in Fuego. So we've got uh, a lot of the pay sources here in the mix. The ones we don't have are going to be the three, the eight, and the five and six, it looks like. We've got one, two, four, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. So seven horses here in this eleven horse field. The finale for us is going to be another state bred Indiana bred maiden claiming race, six furlongs. I don't see many horses running uh, with our top selections. The eight was our top selection here uh, on our uh, main main card. We went eight, three, and one. Eight, three, and one in race nine. Eight, second off of a layoff. Fernando de la Cruz aboard. Um, ran on the front end, slowed down a bit, came fifth last out is our top selection. The three, Queen D, Prayer for Relief, uh, third third time starter. Uh, winning Dam, though, uh, positive ROI, 43%, 63% in the money finishes for Queen of the Wind, uh, horses out of Queen of the Wind. And the one, um, NH uh, Lady Cat, uh, ran on the turf last out, switching back to the main surface here at Indy Grand. Has early speed. I think we'll press the 8 and 3 here a bit. Emmanuel Escavella board. 21% winners. Uh, so we're, we're, we're going to get to this final leg here with the 8 as our top selection. And then underneath the 3 and the 1. We're going to, uh, the 8 and the 1 I think are the top 2 here because of the late speed of the 1. But we're going to round out our card with a 1, 3, and 8. And gives us a $84 ticket. Once again, we're going to cover the full uh, ticket here. Race 6, we're singling the 1 in the state bred race. All early speed, dropping from a stakes race back to Maiden Company. Then we're going to go with, in race 7, leg 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 12 in the turf allowance race. In the next turf race, there's two sandwich turf races here. Race 8, uh, we're going with the 1, 2, 4, 7, 9, 10, and 11. Uh, the 7 is the, the uh, top choice there. And then we're going to round out the card with the 1, 3, and 8. The 8 is our top selection there as well. Uh, thank you for watching. $84 ticket. Good luck on, on Wednesday in this late pick 4 uh, at Horseshoe. Thanks again for watching, and good luck on Wednesday. Let's cash this ticket.